walk in the Polish seaside in December. I love it. <laughs> this Dutch girl fell in love with Poland one and a half years ago. I'm living like a nomad through this beautiful country and this is my biggest adventure yet. Walking the whole Polish coastline in December. It's such an amazing adventure already. Please be part of it. Magical evening. And good morning from Winter Wonderland. Good morning from Sassino. Today I will walk to Baba. And it's like 16 kilometers from here. But I will also do some walking there. So let's say around 20, 22 kilometers today. And it is, <laughs> it is cold. It's like minus four, but it feels like minus eight. So I might need these one for the first, these ones for the first day. <laughs> So many certificates. <laughs> Love it. It's icy. Ah. There we go. Okay, so the challenge for today can be that it is a little bit slippery at some places. Focus. Also, one of my friends, Laura, you know her from from London. She asked me if I wanted to do that next winter again, so we can do it together. <laughs> my friends are so impressed by my journey. <sighs> Receiving so much love. Want to know how cold it is? Look at the ice. Always interesting when the pavement stops. I guess there are not too many cars now, so let's walk on this side. Feels like I'm in Canada or something. It's so unreal. So as a child, I already thought that it looks very special when trees have snow on them. What do you think? Let's go here. Okay, this is ice. <laughs> Better walk in the snow. <laughs> If there was just somebody to do a snowball fight with. <clears throat> but no, I'm alone. <laughs> Christmas is coming. Christmas, Christmas. I'm getting into the Christmas spirit like never before. <laughs> Love how the sun shines on the snow. Glittery. Oh. Interesting. Nika to the rescue again. Let's see if it's doable. Quite doable. try to help other people as long as it's not against your well-being <laughs> okay I have to go there <laughs> please tell me I'm at the seaside of Poland because I don't know <laughs> and the blue sky Amazing. Anyone wants a Christmas tree? It's 
So now we leave the big road behind. We go on a more nat nature road again. Little Ninka would have loved this. <laughs> so look at the nature here. And this road is definitely more icy. I almost slipped already like two times. But look. Ah. Yes. Since I have a lot of room <laughs> to think about things. Um, I want to talk with you about something. If you're inspired to. I saw a quote this morning about our comfort zone. And in my opinion... It's all messed up because we are pushed by society and the world like that it's good to get out of your comfort zone and and that that's the only place where you can grow and where things happen. And I think it's so messed up that it causes like so many stressful people, like all the burnouts and and mental health problems and lack of self-care, lack of people following their dreams. It's all because it's being, we are being pushed by other people in the world like, you know, you don't, you must not feel comfortable because then your life stands still or something and, <sighs> I mean, and also, comfort zone is something very very personal and unique for every person so what might seem like uncomfortable for one person may be very comfortable for the other and the other way around like we should not compare ourselves to others anyway because that can only do some harm um, yeah so I think what comfort zone really is is what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel calm, and following that, you know. Um, and I think a lot of things happen just by doing that and by being in your comfort zone. For me, for example, being out of my comfort zone was staying in my hometown and just following like what society had in mind, like working nine to five, study at university and things like that. But I was so unhappy, so unfulfilled, so uncomfortable <laughs> that I finally decided after all of my mental health problems, okay, what makes me happy is, is going out of the Netherlands and, you know, travel, explore. That's my comfort zone, creating so that's why how I came to Poland and I've said it before in my videos I feel so calm and happy here like Poland is my comfort zone same with traveling and exploring and what I'm doing right now for so many people this would be out of their comfort zone but for me this is my comfort zone just walking exploring making YouTube videos also like being an artist right now and I all discovered that because I stayed in my comfort zone. I went out of my comfort zone by leaving Poland and being in such an uncomfortable situa situation. And that doesn't bring you anything. Like really, when you're stressed, you cannot even let in the inspiration. So throw away that whole idea. So I came back and... Um, I found the comfort zone again, like when I came with Deborah and the family and they gave me a stable home base because then only this year I realized that I am an artist, that I make beautiful art pieces in the form of drawings, that I, that I am a brilliant YouTuber, <laughs> that people like what I create and who I am and that I can share it with the world, that, it, that I'm worthy of it because I was comfortable where I was. I was calm and happy where I was. And I felt a pure bliss and happiness and joy in me. And that's the comfort zone. So, yeah. Also, I'm not saying that we should not 
learn anything or like try new things because sometimes you have like a little small uncomfortable moments but not like that you're being pushed by someone else you know you can choose to try something new and then bit by bit your comfort zone can expand um, oh wait there's a truck coming you know and learning new things can also be in your comfort zone I know kids who love to learn new things and they are so happy and joyful and anyway um, with kids for example there's research that our brain makes I think thousand more like new pathways when children learn through play and fun instead of the way that we teach now the children because now so many kids are pushed outside of their comfort zone and well <laughs> I think it's not working very well but that the school system in the world needs a whole new new kind of way to teach children but let's see it was my plan anyway my intention one of my intentions of going outside of the Netherlands and traveling around is to uh, connect with kids and also empower them and see if I can do something with new school systems or something let's see um, yeah so also with kids please don't push them outside of their comfort zones because I think it does more harm than than anything and they learn how that they have to achieve for someone else instead of listening to their own heart and happiness and just do what makes them happy and joyful so okay that was inspiration by Ninka and the whole thing also just one more thing being out of your comfort zone puts your body in stress because when you're stressed your body is in stress and that makes us sick so <laughs> why do you think so many people are sick now like it's insane because when you're in stress your body doesn't function well it's also in research so I say yes to our comfort zone <laughs> follow your comfort your relaxing your calmness your happiness and joy magnificent blue sky wow look at this it's like a snow tunnel amazing <laughs> so I was walking close to Lake Zabsko all the time so I will now just take a quick look at how it looks in the winter wow look at it Okay, um, I think it's over here. There's the lake, all icy. It looks special. I wanted to turn back, but I'm seeing something really, really cute. I have to show you. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> And he was leading me to a magnificent, magnificent view of the lake. Whoa, <laughs> that's so awesome. Hey buddy. High five. <laughs> Amazing, look at this. Wow. Again, a magical moment.
Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? While I'm walking on this, you hear the ice. You hear it? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, magnificent. looks so unreal it looks like you can just walk on here and just go yeah they can <laughs> but i think we as humans not yet wow guess we will make this a little bit snow free and then have a my last break here okay sorry for the gap because my phone died and i was at the lake because it was so cold i think so I just did some groceries at Biedronka and bought some extra plasters and like energy bars at Rosman. Because tomorrow I'm going into Sowinski National Park, also on Sunday a bit. So I did some extra. So I always have some something for energy with me. Now I'm walking to my next guest house. Around two kilometers to go. Definitely the coldest day yet. Whoa, my nose was freezing. <laughs> Warmed up a little bit in the shops. So I'm in Weba now. Weba is a little bit misty today. Love the colorful houses. I want to explore a little bit more of, Re of uh, Weba, but first I need to get rid of my heavy bags <laughs> that would be nice whoa look at this color amazing so here is my new room have my bathroom my little bathroom with a shower of course and <laughs> almost forgot that the netherlands has the quarterfinal this evening against um, argentina so i hope i can watch it on the tv <laughs> I hope you also cheer for the Netherlands now. <laughs> so first I will go for a little bit of a walk to the beach and then it's really time to warm up and chill. I do feel my muscles in my legs now for the first time like really they're getting a little bit sore. <laughs> Just like Sakopane, Weba also has his its, its own upside down house. Look. It's it's uh, one with candy, I think. So it looks like a really nice place. I can imagine how lively it is when the sun is shining. That's cute. The road to the beach. I have no idea what our view will be because it's really foggy. But let's see. Whoa. It looks very mystical. Look at it. You can just see the sea. But look. We have to take a closer look. Welcome to Summer Paradise Weba. <laughs> For everyone who's been here in the summer. Look how it looks like in the winter. <laughs> Amazing. Stunning. Very special. Feed in the snow. You can literally see no end. 
also the sea looks very very magical because you also don't see the end of the sea there's no horizon wow very calm again almost no wind guess I'm lucky Again, so different from yesterday, but also really special again. Whoa. Now let's get back for the World Cup. Some tea, some soup. <laughs> and to edit this video for you and upload it. Of course, daily routine. And then we also have the mystical forest. It's getting dark already. Feel like I'm in a Christmas movie again. <laughs> Christmas movie in Poland. Cute little lake, pond, how do you call it? I think it's a pond, right? This looks really cute. Definitely have to visit this town at this place again when it's summer or like spring. It looks so cute. So romantic. Soup, rest, World Cup. As you can see, uh, uh, my hair, I still have to shower, but um, football started, so I just watched that while editing the vlog for you. Tomorrow, I will go to Swawinski National Park, so be ready because it will be wintry as well there. So um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Also look in the comments down below how you can support my friend for whom I'm walking this trip. But also you, how you can support me and the channel. I appreciate all of you and all of your messages so much. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.